I'm going to show you how to install and correctly adjust soft closing mechanism for IKEA PAX sliding doors. I'm gonna explain everything how all the brackets work if your doors are on the left or if your outer doors are on the left or on the right, how to mount the brackets on the doors and on the top rail of your PAX wardrobe. Let's do it. What are you getting in the box? You're gonna get a pump box with this soft closing mechanism for IKEA PAX sliding doors. You're gonna get a lot of brackets, soft closing boxes. You're gonna get Allen key and manual instructions with a few screws. Electric screwdriver, the small one, very helpful here. If you like to check it out, is the link is in the description. We're starting with this main part of the soft closing, which is gonna be mounted on the rail from inner side. And we're gonna connect it with one screw with those uh, plastics on the top. There is a small gaps on the top uh, when you are gonna place the thing in. Just put the screws from under and on the top, you get those small gaps as I mentioned. When you press it in, the, the hole is pre-drilled already. So just find the hole, push it down and secure the screws. See the small screw driver here is a big help. And one is done. So this is one side. You see the push is on the right side in this case. So we're gonna do exactly the same for the other one that by the push gonna be on the left side. So exactly the same screw from under top smaller part, the hook is gonna go from the top. So exactly the same on the other one, place the top in and secure it with a screw. So you see the push is on the left and on the right. Now this is a stoppers and they are marked B and F. So depend where your door is gonna be, Put them on that side. You're gonna get two new screws and two new nuts with it. This is the middle part. This is the new with the soft closing. So depend where your doors is. Check the manual. In our case, the doors are the outer doors are on the right and inner doors are on the left. In the manual, you're gonna have the outer doors on the left, inner door on the right. So there is mark on this plastic part R and L. If your outer doors are on the left you're gonna go with the R if your outer doors are on the right you're gonna go with the L in our case we're gonna go with the L because our outer doors are on the right side you got three points on this plastic so you place the brackets the metal brackets on it on those on the side and then click it on the front it's gonna be secured with one screw just place it in and secure it. The metal metal bracket is connected with the plastic. So this is how it looks. Don't forget, depend where your doors, where your outer doors are. That's how you're gonna put the metal brackets on. So we get those three parts ready. Now this is another part which is slightly different than the previous model. So in this case, the plastic is bit bigger than it used to be. Depend how your doors are on, outer doors are on the left or on the right, position the plastic in. In this case, gonna go like this and it's secured with one screw. It's gonna come like this. In our case, you see my doors are on the right, the outer doors, so I'm gonna go from the right side. If your doors are on the left, you twist the bracket the other way around and put the plastic. Remove old screws from the, from the hinge. And this is the smaller one, which is gonna go on the inner door. So there is metal parts and a plastic part, and we secure them together with the one screw. So that's how it looks. And let's go on the inner door. We have the F, which in the manual, you're gonna have the outer door on the left. So the F would be on the left. But in our case, the outer doors are on the right side. So the F, Part gonna go on the right side not on the left on the right the B and the B part B stopper gonna go on the left if your doors the other way around you're gonna do it other way around you got a screw and a nut with the, each of these stoppers so use the ones with the of which they were in a box in a soft closing box 
now we're gonna remove the old stoppers if you have any shelf or any anything what is obstructing you from mounting the brackets remove it for now and now we can remove the old stopper you see we're gonna on the left on the inner door is gonna be the b stopper the new one and that's how the soft closing gonna go so remove the old stopper you have allen key in the box which is coming with the soft closing so remove the old stopper and you can discard you can uh, you can throw the screw and the old uh, nut as well you're gonna have new screw new nut so the nut going to the soft closing on the left side you're gonna mount the left side the inner door make sure you keep the nut in the left side if you push if you twist it a little bit it's gonna slide to the right side it's not gonna work so keep it on the left screw going through the stopper in this case is at the B with the mark B you see the nut is on the left so there is no stopper for it if you twist a little bit it's gonna go to the right now we're gonna mount the soft closing so just hook it from the inner side on a top rail and it should be nice and uh, easy to push push it up and then the nut on see one side and the other side exactly the same is hooked on the inner side and the nut is coming through the hole there you see the nut through the hole there it is so if we did everything right this uh, you can push it up easy and now we can connect it with the b stopper on the left side as i mentioned this is for the inner door so if your inner door is on the other side you would go do exactly the same but on the other side with the b stopper yes we secure the stopper we, sec we secure the screw through the stopper to the soft closing and that's how it works you see this the soft closing is on the left side now we're gonna do exactly the same on the right side remove the shelf if you have anything on the top and remove the old stopper you see this water piece right on the wall as i was removing the skirting board and uh, there is very little space on the ceiling as well just centimeter or uh, and something and so I don't have much space but I'm gonna sh I'm gonna explain you if the door's gonna gonna touch the wall if you remove the skirting board how to how to adjust the soft closing so you can you can move it a little bit to the inner side so it's exactly the same we put the nut in a in a right side we keep it there hook it from inner side of the rail push it up till you can see the nut through the hole on the right side and you see the hole on the right side is uh, slightly bigger it's about centimeter so you can push it left or right if you don't want a door too close on the wall you can adjust it slightly so now the screw for the stopper in this case is the stopper with the mark f because we have the outer door on the right side and secure the screw through the stopper to the soft closing secure it properly and then you can adjust it if you need to push the, uh, move the door slightly on the left i'm gonna explain you that in the moment that stopper is working like this and it should be on the right side this is the inner bracket so you got a screws which is included in the box they're slightly different sides than the original one from the hinges so remove the hinge screws and you're gonna replace replace them with the two new screws but this i'm just showing you how it is before you mount the bracket you're gonna have to put the ending panel for the soft closing doors otherwise you're not gonna be able to uh, mount this when you have the brackets already on so put the ending panel for the outer door cut the bit on the top a bit of rubber is coming is touching the rail and now you can push the put the bracket in use the new screws we remove the old two old screws from the hinge out and use two new screws which are included in the box with the soft closing when we mount the bracket we can put the sticker on the top of this of the on the top of the hinge so when the doors coming on the top of each other not gonna scratch it and now we can check how far we go with the doors see it working nicely soft closing in this case as you see the water is right on the wall the doors almost touching the wall so i'm gonna push the all soft closing mechanism to the left so just open the screw on the top which is going through the stopper 
and push the whole things to the left and secure the screw back. Now I'm gonna check. You see it's closing slightly before the wall is not touching it. It's like two, three millimeter from the wall, just how I want it. Now we're gonna left side, unlock the hinges. We're gonna take the doors off. It's gonna be easier this way. We're gonna take the inner doors out, open the locks on the left and on the right, and unhook the door, take them, put them down. Put them somewhere safe, they can lean on the wall and you can, this is the small bracket gonna go on the right side and big bracket on the left, if you're looking from this side, if it's from the other side, it's the other way around. Remove the original screw from the hinge, the bottom one, and replace it with the screw which is included in the box with the soft closing, it's like the head is slightly different shape and I think the size is slightly different as well because you're going through the, another bracket and place the uh, small part of soft closing on the on the right side on a door if you're looking from this side the bigger part's gonna go on the other side as we have the soft closing uh, as we have the inner door on the left side we're gonna position it this way it depends how you're looking at it in this case when we're looking from this side is on the left see there is two screws just place them in and secure uh, this part of soft closing through the metal bracket. This one is a new, this is new uh, system before the soft closing was without that, without uh, the other part, without the bigger part. Now we can put the uh, doors back. I found it, the small part of the soft closing which is mounted on the on the door on the other side it's stopping me from the pushing the doors up because I have already the ending panels on so I cannot slide it from the side if you don't have the ending ending panels on yet you can slide it but in this case I just want to go um, don't want to remove this so I'm gonna have to take the small part out is it just one screw and it's easy to mount it even when the doors are on you can do actually all whole things when the doors are on but it's quite hard access and it was quite hard to film as well so I found it easier this way. So now you can hook the doors up, inner doors, one sliding nicely, you can place the small part of the soft closing back on the door, just secure it with one screw. Don't forget to lock your doors, so push the lock up, that's the inner door and exactly the same on the other side, push the lock up on the other side as well so the door's not gonna pop out. And that's, now we have all the sides ready. Let's check it out if everything's work correctly. Soft closing nicely here. Now when the doors are coming on the top of each other, it's soft closing as well nicely. So they're not gonna bang once they, they come. And the other side exactly the same, nice soft closing. It's closing nicely on the left, on the middle and on the right side as well. Also of closing working perfectly fine. The last things you have to do, just check when you open both doors on the left or on the side, depend where all your drawers are, check if all the drawers or all the components what you have in the wardrobe working nicely. And that's how you install a soft closing mechanism for IKEA PAX sliding doors. Have a fantastic day. Mm -hmm.